In the first month after your weight loss surgery, you will gradually progress your diet through four stages. In this module, we discuss the first three diet stages beginning with clear liquids and progressing to soft foods. The first stage of your diet is going to be clear liquids, and this is when you are in the hospital. So day one and day two, if you're in the hospital still, you're gonna be on clear liquids. Kind of what to expect, they're gonna give you small medicine cups, and you're going to put your liquids in there. I would recommend that you take one to two small medicine cups over an hour period. If you're comfortable with that, then you can increase up to four small medicine cups. Things to expect would be your clear base broth, like vegetable broth or beef broth. You may also get some decaf coffee and tea or some of your calorie-free, carbonated-free beverages. Sugar-free Jello and sugar-free popsicles are also considered clear liquids, but when you're eating them, you wanna make sure that you are taking small bites and that the consistency is a liquid by the time you swallow it. If you are tolerating clear liquids, then you can advance to full liquids on day two post-op. With a full liquid, you wanna make sure that is pourable. So say you have a soup, but it has chunks in it. You wanna make sure you either blenderize it or you strain the soup before eating it. The full liquid needs to be pourable. The most common types of foods that we recommend are strained or blended soups, bariatric protein supplements, thinned cream of wheat or oatmeal, applesauce, and basic V8 vegetable juice, skim or 1% milk, thinned low sugar Greek yogurt, sugar-free pudding or custard. Keep in mind during your full liquid diet stage that you need to track your hydration, your protein, and keep your sugar intake low. As you introduce full liquids, you may find that there's gonna be you know, different times where you can tolerate more. For instance, if you're eating a thinned oatmeal, you may only be able to tolerate four ounces because it is a higher density food. If you're eating a cream-based soup, you may be able to take more, up to six ounces, because it's a lower density food. Over the first week, you are going to gradually increase your full liquids until you can tolerate about four ounces, which is half a cup. On day eight, you can progress your diet to a soft food diet stage. This includes things that you can smash with a fork. So your soft fish, your soups, any type of soup is fine during this stage as long as you're chewing the chunks well. Scrambled eggs, refried beans, your applesauce, you can continue doing your yogurts and things like that. In your soft food diet stage, it's important to avoid raw fruits and vegetables. You need to make sure that if you eat a vegetable that it is canned or well steamed. And also with fruit, you can do canned fruit or applesauce. As you start to introduce foods in your soft food diet, it's important to use the three to one plate method as you're eating. So what you would wanna do is start with three bites of protein. That could be your canned tuna, your canned chicken, refried beans, and then you would wanna take two bites of your non-starchy vegetables. So canned green beans, canned broccoli, uh, and then lastly, one bite of your carbohydrate. We just wanna ensure that you're getting your protein in before the other food groups. Let's take a moment to review this module. Thinking about nutrient balance and eating the right foods is more difficult when you don't feel hungry. This is why it is important to focus on your meals. Allow yourself extra time to eat. You will need to concentrate on eating slowly and learning to recognize the sensation of fullness. Use your protein drink to make sure you get enough protein each day. Introduce new foods slowly and only one new item per meal. Track food and liquid in your journal. If something makes you feel ill, your journal will help you identify it. Use the 3 2, one plate method once you start soft foods. When you are ready to continue, use the menu on the left to select the next module. 